In this tutorial, we will go through how to set up your USB or GFX vaccine data logger. Before we start, you need to download and install the EasyLog USB software. Visit www.easylogusb.com and click download. Follow the on-screen wizard to install the software. Please note, you may need administrator access to complete this. Once installed, connect the logger to the USB port on your PC and open the EasyLog USB software. Then click Setup and start the USB data logger. First, we will name the logger. You have 15 characters for this. Next, select your temperature scale. Your thermistor type will be recognised and completed for you. If you have multiple channels, you can name them. If you are setting up a GFX logger, you will see a tick box named Enable Offset Calibration. This enables known probe errors to be corrected. We don't need to enable this. These settings should only be modified by advanced users. Choose how frequently you want the logger to take a reading. We recommend every 15 minutes for optimum logger storage time. Then select how you would like the display to function. We recommend LCD on for 30 seconds after button is pressed for the USB logger and LCD and backlight on for a short period after button press for the GFX logger. This is to maximize battery life. For GFX users, you will choose whether you want to be able to start and stop logging and change settings in the field or just view data. This security feature is up to you. For USB users, you will choose what you want the logger to do once the data memory is full. We recommend logger stops to ensure data isn't overwritten. The GFX logger will automatically stop logging when the memory is full. The next part is setting the alarms. If the environment you are monitoring is a fridge, your high alarm will normally be eight degrees Celsius and low alarm, two degrees Celsius. If you are monitoring a freezer, you will normally just need a high alarm of minus 15 degrees Celsius. We recommend ticking the hold checkbox. This will keep the logger in alarm condition until you acknowledge it. For example, if the fridge drops below two or above eight degrees overnight, you will be alerted as soon as you arrive the next morning about the exact time it occurred. You may also want to set an alarm delay. We recommend setting a delay of one hour for alarms. Most vaccines can keep their potency outside of the recommended temperature ranges for this long, so you may not need to display alarm before then. For GFX models, you can disable the LEDs and alarm sounder here if you like. Next, you can set up your logger to either start immediately, when the button is pressed, or for a set date and time. We recommend you delay your start by two hours to let the glycol probe acclimatize to the fridge or freezer temperature. For GFX loggers, you also have the option to set the logger to start once a temperature threshold has been reached. When setup is complete, the data logger should be removed from the USB port. Do not leave your data logger in the USB port for extended periods as this will cause some of the battery capacity to be lost. Then, simply use the plastic cap or cover to protect the USB and connect the probe into the jack socket. Your logger is now ready to be placed in its environment. You don't need to put the entire logger into the fridge or freezer. They have a magnetic clip so they can be fixed to the outside of the fridge or freezer and just the glycol probe can go inside. Use the software to download your data at any time by detaching the logger from the probe. Leave your probe in the fridge or freezer so it doesn't have to reacclimatize later. Plug the logger into your PC, then choose Stop the USB data logger and download data, and save the file on your computer. We recommend downloading the data at least once a month. Once downloaded, a graph containing all the readings will be displayed. From this graph, you are able to zoom in and out of readings by date and time. You may also review the readings in data view, 
And you can also export all readings to multiple formats by clicking Export at the top. Once the data is downloaded, the logger is in stopped mode. Remember to go back to the setup step to restart the logger.